Ripple Labs expanding viaduct partnerships with Gates Foundation, Omni, and Nexo. Deputy Director and Principal Technologist of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, Miller Abel, tweeted on Monday that his organization would be partnering with Ripple Labs and COIL to explore ways to help get payment systems to the poor. The announcement was also tweeted out by Costa Peric, Deputy Director of the Gates Foundation's Financial Services for the Poor program. What is Modulub? Modulub is an open-source software designed for use by financial institutions to give people a method of sending digital payments, regardless of the bank service they're using. Paired with Ripple's XRP cryptocurrency and Coil's web monetization capabilities, the minds behind this software have tried to build a way to send money to poor parts of the world more quickly. The official website claims it can be used person-to-person, -person, for point-of-sale transactions, and for payroll. Crypto lending platform Nexo and sharing platform Niave also recently announced support of XRP, with Nexo accepting it as collateral and Omni letting you get paid in XRP when you run out your unused stuff. Serving the underbank the Gates Foundation provided funding for Modulup, and Ripple Labs is listed on their website as a collaborator. The mission of Modulup is right in line with the Gates Foundation's goals of bringing payment systems into environments where they don't exist or aren't reliable. They've expressed an interest in digital payments to achieve this, stating in their website, perhaps the most important condition for the development of new, pro-poor payment systems is interoperability, the ability of customers to transact with any other customer, whether they use the same service provider or not. This kind of pen loop system substantially lowers the costs and complexity of digital financial services and payment platforms. Opening up payment infrastructure to new kinds of companies outside of traditional banking organizations can help accelerate the development of these systems. Ripple Labs is far from the only company looking to expand digital payments into poorer countries. Binance launched its first fiat to crypto exchange today in Uganda and plans to expand further into Africa. According to Abel, Modulup was demonstrated October 17 at the Gutub Universe Conference in San Francisco. Ripple's XRP Global Financial System Transformation and its Initiative Catalyst The third largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization XRP was initiated as an idea from its team by elaborating on what is one of the main issues that the financial verse of the globe handles. By looking at regions and countries as they are today, there are great ways to transfer money within the location. However, no real international or cross-border platform exists that does it very speedy and efficiently. Ripple's XRP commenting is highlighted by Daniel Aranda, X-Spring's Managing Director during Crypto Comparum Jack Summit, that during the brainstorming on matter should be taken at hands first the team came to a conclusion that the financial industry architecture is primarily made out of banks. Additionally, that a decentralized platform would be of great help for the cross-border transaction ecosystem. As we were thinking about different use cases around payments, the highest friction and pain point that we found was around cross border. So, if you think about here in the UK, you have services like the Faster Payments Service, CHAPS, and BACS, RTGS from the Bank of England, you have great payment systems that already exist on a domestic or regional level. So, there is SAPA in the EU as well. But because there is no global central bank, you don't really have a global consolidated payments system. You have layers that maybe simulate that, things like Visa and MasterCard or even Swift as a messaging service. And we thought that a decentralized architecture, blockchain technology, and these public ledgers could really help kind of interoperate a lot of these different systems. So, with that thesis in mind, we just started looking at markets, to see, who would be the first users who is the right first customer to focus work. Keeping the above in mind, Mr. Aranda continued, so our software solutions, our enterprise solutions, right now, are sold to around 120 financial institutions around the world.
when the token made its debut into the cryptoverse along with all its developments over the years, it reached very impressive stats for a digital currency. Bitcoins and many other speed cannot even get close to its confirmation time which is around 3.0 seconds and a transaction's cost of 0.1 cent. Even that many criticize the blockchain for being centralized, less of the nodes are run from the San Francisco-based firm Ripple than the other 52%. As noted out by Ripple Labs CTO David Schwartz, Bitcoin and Ethereum are considered very decentralized with the POW protocol and idea which truly is great to start the project. However, as time goes by a few miners can control the network and the system. The XRP Ledger uses a consensus protocol that relies on a majority of validators to record and verify transactions without incentivizing any one party. This is one of the main reasons why I began working on XRP Ledger more than six years ago. Validators are different from miners because they aren't paid when they order and validate transactions. Going back to Mr. Aranda and how he took the time during the summit to speak about the Internet of Value which the team behind XRP and the other solution the company offers are trying to achieve. He added that very similar to the Internet today which transfers packages of data, in Ives case money, value will be handled around. We think that lot of Internet of Value is going to operate in the same way, where you're having servers, like validators and miners actually being able to communicate with each other, and they are really confirming kind of the movement and creation of value and of money.